Hi people, this is Gio of Gio's Real World and Gio in a round table. And today I'll be talking about the movie Renfield. And it's kind of a thriller action, slight comedy kind of movie. We got 57% of Rotten Tomato, 91% of people liking it. I myself, I mean, I'll give it a pass. I'll be, I'll be in the 60s, 70s, not, not even, I won't go and say no. So I'll be in the 60s, okay? So I'm, I'm again agreeing with the Rotten Tomato. And in there, you have Nicholas Holt playing Renfield. Then you have Aquafina playing Rebecca. And then there's Nicholas Cage playing Dracula. Now, this movie is almost, to me, I, I find it's like James Bond with Blade kind of sense, you know, which is you don't take it too seriously because like James Bond, because a lot of things doesn't make sense and everything. The action is, and the action is pretty good, like Blade, and it's more like serious, like Blade, and the action wise, or like, you know, the fighting scenes and everything, they're very well done and everything. But the thing is, how you call it? These are my two defects to the movie. That's why I give it a 60 ish, okay? Is there's certain actors that play go, they'll say like, like they say Nicholas Cage. That's the one that bothers me, okay? That doesn't make me go into the movie because it's not Nicholas Cage playing Dracula. It's Dracula playing Nicholas Cage. You know? So, in other words, what I'm trying to say is like, Nicholas Cage, whenever he acts, he always acts himself. Always doing Ghost Rider or whatever movie you can think of. It's Nicolas Cage being Nicolas Cage in that movie. Maybe put an accent more. But you're, like, you're, you're never, I call it, get absorbed into the movie that he portrays a character that you're like, wow, I can, you kind of get involved. Like you put, you put like, a, like Nicolas Cage for me is like, there's another person, and I, this is my opinion, and everybody can disagree, like Bruce Willis. Any movie he does, it's Bruce Willis playing Bruce Willis character kind of sense. So you never so and and uh, he always acts the same. He's his own his, his, his gestures and everything. They're not like people like uh, like Denzel Washington. You have Brad Pitt. Uh, these are guys when they pull a uh, they do they do a personality. They change. They change completely. Uh, Phoenix, same thing again. When he does a Joker, he's, you see he's different. He plays another role. He comes different. You know it's him. But you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to kind of force yourself to say, "Goes, oh wow, hey, my God, Phoenix is he's, he's, he's like, why wow, he's really portraying this guy is really good." Or Dallas Washington, whatever. You have to kind of refresh your memory that that's an actor. Well, Nicolas Cage is like, yeah, he's still being himself, and that's one of my defects. That's one more towards the sixties and two. And this one of the this is probably another four or five movies I've been watching it that you see when the action flick starts starts happening, okay? Like you see what's the name? Uh Renfield, okay, which is Nicholas uh Holt there. He this man this this arm this 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 fight uh, this police and he throws the arm at another guy going through him like a spear and everything. This visual like the the fighting sequence was wasn't crazy, you see blood and this and that. But the thing you start noticing, why I start noticing, is that his shirt he has two, three blood stains. All that blood going through and everything, even Aquafina when she's fighting and all that, the stains are the same stains. And when you when when at the end of the battle when it's all over and everything, there's no blood, there's no gore, or guts and everything all around and everything. When all those slashing and everything. And he's like, okay, so all those blood we're seeing bursting out in the scene and everything. CGI, I know that. Why didn't it just add it to it, make it look more realistic? So when the, when the fighting scene comes, it comes okay. The, and after the end of the fighting scene, it's very Hollywoody, okay. You don't see the blood and glory. It's like in my sense, it's like aha. But it's, I don't because I know CGI. Now they really make it. You know it that it was completely CGI because there's no blood on the cement, on the car, on the people. There's no no. Uh, Gore coming out of the car, the slashing and ripping people apart. So that kind of thing, it made me go. Like as I said, face reality is like, aha, it's a movie, and these are mistakes. While if they would done a better job, it's like, oh, I like it because you feel like that you're in, you're watching two person's eye that looks more realistic. So that's it. It's like, uh, wait, if you cheap all night. I say wait, wait, wait to get home because I don't know. As myself, 
Like I said, I want the cheaper night again, yes, because hey, I'm sorry, I gotta pay myself, right? And this thing is, I wasn't there, it's like, boy. I seen so much Nicolas Cage movies that I seen that I that I seen that defect. Like same thing with Bruce Willis, same thing. And others. There's, there's other female, there's female actors and other, other people that there's you see them. They portray themselves as themselves in the costume, and you're and you you cannot get fooled by it because they they act exactly how they are. So that's it. I'm making nice and short and sweet. So that's it. That's Geo out. And until next time, bye guys.